Hello everybody, Princess Bear here, and we're back in the Mexico Pavilion in Epcot at Walt Disney World. Because Santa and Helen? Yeah, why not? We like eating the dark. I guess um, she's hungry. That was horrible. But you heard the girl. That was horrible. It was pretty bad. I wasn't going to say it though. And cocoa. And, and cocoa better than me. Because I failed. myself too but this I don't know if I believe in this thing. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, oh I believe in you. You have the power. You are the magic. Oh my god. The amount yeah. of time you are the magic. Yeah. Oh, oh almost you're almost, almost a Wait. Yeah. 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 Alegria. It reminds me of Alegria. Alegria. If you know Alegria, tell me in the comments. If you don't know Alegria, you're gonna have to Google that. It's just as good as the last time that we had the Alegria hit margarita, which we'll put a link to that in the description box down below. This, though expensive, is a five out of five. But it's not going on my list. It's just a five out of five. I try not to spend my money mentally out of our community's pockets. However, my hate for Go Cubes aside, I look at this and this is a half a tank of glass. Glass? Half a tank of gas. In a glass. In a margarita cocktail form. Kind of worries me. You get half a tank of fuel for this. It's $33. $33 cocktail. Even for Disney. That is extreme. But cool. To the Alabrica. It looks pretty. It comes with a smoke bubble. I don't know if it's worth $33. Though. You have to decide your own level. Save your money, come treat yourself. Don't save your money, eat on the cheap. Save your money, eat on the cheap. Do whatever you want. There's no wrong way to do Disney. And you got to save your Even if you like Disney food, it's okay. Maybe treat yourself to a nice dinner, do a bad lunch the next day, do a bad lunch all day, and this will be your treat meal. But either way, you decide how you want to spend your vacation. For me, this is a great drink, but the value to alcohol ratio is not there for me. Three out of five bucks. I have the cutest little Marg glass for my San and Hell Inn margarita. Look at my baby shaker, and it came in this cute little ice bucket, like, what? I'm here for this. 100%. I'm here. I want this drink in my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. With the tahini and the lime. Oh my god. I wish I could order this at La Cama. This is a five out of five margaritas. This is on my princessities list. Look at the princess ordering the basic top shelf margarita. With a little shaker. A shaker she can't take home. Poor thing. Or can I? No, I'm not taking it home. Ooh. I don't know if I bit in just the right spot or the wrong spot. Well, that sent waves of tequila over my body in a good way. The kind of way that some of you might say make your clothes fall off. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I doubted the princess's five out of five rating. I'm not giving it that. But it's still exceptionally good. Four and a half out of five plus. Don't get this off. El Diablo. It's not my jam. You know, the, the jalapeno margarita backwater bar is much better than this one. 
this is a two out of five for me. You want a good spicy mark, go to Universal, go to Islands of Adventure, go to Backwater Bar. I said what I said. The goal is always to drink with the devil. Take that how you will. <laughs> There's an interesting flavor profile. It could use about 200% more spice though. Two and a half out of five plus. It's time for the guacamole. I cannot eat the chicharrones with the hot sauce because chicharrones is pig. Who? Guac though. Tastes fresh, but it's the same guac that you can get at La Hacienda de San Angel. The La, the La Hacienda little casitas next to it, and Costa de Margarita. The only difference is the chicharrones, and I can't eat those. But I do like the freshness of the avocado, so I'm gonna give that a four out of five avocados. And then we got the salsa. Which we know, you know, if you really want a good version, you put the salsa with the guacamole. But the salsa by itself is the win. It's nice and chunky. It's not too buttery. It's not too spicy. It's not lame. It's good. Four to five. If you're going to come here and get abs, do the guac and the salsa. And they got queso too but we're not eating that. But do the trio, it's the same trio you can do at La Cava, which we did in a previous video that we'll put in a link to the description box down below. Uh, guacamole appetizer with the chicharrones. Uh, I'm so happy that I'm the Cheers of the Princess. But of course, I care about cross-contamination, so I will take my little section of guac here. Cute. I will take my little fried pork skins. Piggy coats, as I call them, mm -hmm. with the hot sauce, and dip it in the guac on my own plate. Don't be rude if you're eating at a table with plant-based and vegan people. They know what they do. Mmm. Mmm. The hot sauce is tend to be hotter. It tastes like a pepper water paste and a hot sauce. But I get it. Some of you have weak genes and you can't handle actual hot sauce. I'm not mad at you for it. I'm sad that you don't get to experience the heat of actual hot sauce. I'm being mean, I know. Play me in the comments. But I love this appetizer. It's definitely one you should get. There's nothing really, it's not gonna blow your mind, but chicharrones with guac is a rare treat. Treat yourself. Three out of five minutes. I got a dish I've never had before. The last dish we had the last time we came here is still available as a vegan option. But they also have a vegan enchilada. This is basically a tortilla with beans and green sauce with no chez. So I don't expect it to be like filled with things. It smells amazing. It's not as good as the enchiladas that we had at um, the Maya at Coronado. It's mostly just like beans wrapped in a tortilla. I think I would get the other dish instead. But for this, I think it's gonna be very filling, especially soaking up all the alcohol that I've had today and I'm going to continue to be drinking today. So I'm gonna give it a three out of five, but like, if you're coming here just to eat and not get like sustenance while you're trying to drink liquor, it's probably a one because it's literally just beans wrapped in a tortilla with sauce on top of it and like would probably cost $2 to make. So plant-based enchiladas is not on my bingo card today, but here we are. 
It looks to just be black bean enchiladas in a verde sauce. And when I say in a verde sauce, I mean like Spanish buried treasure level berry. I appreciate the effort. I really do. But you shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. It's literally just tortilla with black and bean with black beans. Buried in verde sauce is an understatement. It's just like imagine you had a bowl of verde salsa and you dropped your plain black bean taco in there. That's what it is. It's a one out of five plus. Uh, that is not my jam. I don't even lie to you. That is not great. So, I got a uh, enchilada de pollo. Where's your magic pills? Just not what I was expecting. Um, so yes, magic pills. So true. Is that your uh, dairy contraception? Yeah, the dairy contraception is going to be two. Get these for the outlaw, these two. So, we have crispy onions on top, cilantro, like cogita cheese, and get some checo cheese. There's, there's a ton of cheese in here, and verde sauce. When a chicken enchilada, you can't even see the enchilada in here. You might as well have called it fajita soup. <laughs> because that's what pretty close what it is. There's so much verde sauce in here. You can see why the princesses were like they were. You see that? There's a mountain of cheese there. Goofy movie would be proud. It's a leaning tower of cheese. Cheese. There's a fair amount of chicken in there, so that's good. There's a lot of cheese, but honestly, over the verde and the cilantro, you can't really taste it. I mean, you're wrong. I love verde sauce in moderation. It's a bit much. I can't taste the crispy onions. I can only feel the chicken. I can't really taste it. I just taste that like sharp tartness of the verde sauce. There is so much of it in here. It's just not doing the rest of the plate justice. We got a lot of good things here. Uh, this is not my favorite. Two out of five plus. Luckily, it comes with plantains. I love plantains. Covered in cheese. Cheese mm. cheese. And a plantains. Plantains are fire. Three and a half out of five plus. The plantains are definitely fire. The best part of the plate. Send a hell in. Viva la pyramid. Decent food. Uh, it's decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it, would agree. I feel it's like it's decent. falling off just a tad. I think that if you go to Coronado, you probably have a better time. Where at Coronado, though? Any, any of the places. Better than El Mercado? Toledo. El Mercado is better than here? Okay, table service. Maya is better than here? Yes. The Ricks is better than here? It's a bold statement. I just want to make sure you can back that up. All right, the Maya, Toledo, Three Bridges, and the pool bars are better. The community, you guys need to make here. sure that she's Is specific when she says things like this. All this There's slander out here. certain places at Coronado that are not as good, but majority of the places at Coronado are better than this That's like two-thirds. Either way, I don't know what you guys think of Santa Helena. Let us know in the comments if there's anywhere else you think does better Mexican food on property, of course. That's the only place to find us. Hit that, meta, hit that notification bell if you want to see videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday. We'll see you soon. We, we did okay. We did. Be sure to subscribe. Subscribe. You heard the girl. Don't be loud. Don't be loud. Where's Gabriel? I don't see him. He's probably at the table next to us right there where the guy is standing at as a server.
right there is where it's an open table, so it looks like... That's our table. I can't right there the open table in the corner. That's our table.
llamas? I don't know. Bahia! 